hi guys how are you doing this is mr marashanye and today we want to talk about combined science mainly on transport systems in plants right it is very very important for you to take note of this after uh, this topic you should be able to explain the process of transpiration you must be also able to state the factors affecting the rate of transpiration in plants, measure the rate of transpiration, outline the importance of transpiration, explain the terms plus small percentage UDT, describe the effects of water loss and water gain in plant cells. You should be able to answer all these questions after this lesson. These are the objective or the aims. Why are we studying transport system in plants? So that you can answer all these questions, right? Let's get into today's lessons. So first of all, I am going to explain to you what the term transpiration means. Because pana pavangu the transpiration in plants. I'm going to explain to you what the term transpiration means as you can see here they say transpiration in plants is the loss of water vapor from the leaves to the environment but it is also very important to know exactly how the plants lose their what lose their water so according to me i can say transpiration is the loss of water vapor from the leaves through the stomata into the environment i think if you define transpiration like that it will be more um, accurate. It will be more valuable than to say uh, from the leaves to the environment. You must explain how the water uh, leaves the leaves, move out of the leaves. It moves. It should be mastomata. Mastomata, these are invisible openings. I know my leaves, right? So the correct definition for transpiration is just loss of water vapor from the leaves through the stomata into the environment loss of water vapor from the leaves through the stomata into the environment i think on that one you'll be very very accurate right so i am going to explain to you how the process of transpiration is going to take place so as you can see uh, this is the leaf and these arrows they are showing a uh, water vapor moving out of the leaves this is h uh, to o but this is vapor iriku buda and the iriku buda iriku buda through my stomatas to to my body to angle this one to know what my leaves to to remove these are stomatas these are stomatas so when water vapor move out of the leaf it moves through these stomatas you know buddha through the stomatas in the type of water that is being lost by leaves through transpiration is vapor not liquid water it's water vapor right so let's move on and talk about the factors that affect the rate of trans Piration. Can I teach my factors that affect the rate, the rate of transpiration? factors. All right. Let me first define what the term transpiration rate means. Transpiration rate is just the speed at which plants lose water. The speed at which plants lose water. The speed at which plants lose what what water vapor. <laughs> That is transpiration rate. So these you know gonna go affect a speed. Yeguti tika nda pade mama plants. Tino na uti arikulu za water ne speed ya kanyanya as compared to ne mama plants. Kura uti in some plants transpiration will okay very fast. Kuna mama plants it will okay very slow. Kura uti kuna mama plants the rate of transpiration will be very high. To some plants, the rate of transpiration will be very low. What are the factors that causing other plants to lose water very slowly, other plants to lose water uh, very fast? What are those factors? What are my factors that affect the rate of transpiration? My factors are not going to promote transpiration. Can I reduce the transpiration? Number one, wind. Wind. This one. Wind. Wind 
ndi imwe factor ino affect the rate of transmission so tichataura kuti high wind speed high wind speed ino promoter high rate of transmission but low wind speed ino promoter ochi low rate of transmission that's how wind affect the rate of what transmission let's go to number two, which is temperature which is temperature high temperature it promote high rate of transpiration low temperature it promote low rate of transpiration right to end up a name factor which is humidity first of all i'm going to explain what the term humidity means the term humidity it means the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere so if the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere is very high which means if humidity is high it means the rate of transpiration is very very low but the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere can be very low kuti it can be low humidity it means it negative high rate of transpiration I think you are getting it, right? Because as you tell us, we can have high rate of, uh, uh, have high humidity, could have high amount of water vapor in the atmosphere. So I could have evaporation, I can't quite take. But if I have only low amount of water vapor in the atmosphere, so I could have evaporation, I can't quite take. I can't quite take. And evaporation is going to be very high. Do you know promote all the rate of what of transpiration, right? Leaf surface area. Do this one. Leaf surface area leaf surface area you know affect all the rate of transmission in such a way that can apply in a great surface area for the synthesis uh, transpiration in an area very high can apply in a small surface area transpiration in an energy very low large surface area or a great surface area yaka koshere in a in a more master matter panic but my body i can also can promote our high rate of what transmission but gonna surface area is small ma stomata and ngari ma shoma zo reduce our the rate of what transmission light intensity can upon a brighter light intensity bright light intensity in it and um, mama stomatas anu nyaku opena zakanyanya o alawa o high rate of what transmission but kanapane um uh isiri brighter uh light intensity zakure wa kuti transpiration inenge iri very low ne kuti ma stomatas anenge aka closer right especially during the night kurot during the night ndo panenge pane a low light intensity during the night panic upon a low transmission but during the day panic upon a brighter light intensity rate of good power in a high rate of transpiration right uh stomata distribution which must tomato aka wanda say can i must tomato aka wanda transpiration in a high can i must tomato arma shoma transpiration in energy low that's it Right, measuring transpiration in a plant. But measuring on the transpiration, we use a device called a potometer. We use a device called a potometer, which means for us to measure the rate of transpiration, we must use a device called what? Potometer. Right. Lastly, we are going to talk about this is a potometer. As you can see, this is a potometer. Mm -hmm. This is a potometer. Lastly, we are going to talk about the importance of transpiration. The importance of transpiration. Uh, right. Number one, it allows movement of water and minerals. Don't check tanga. It allows movement of water and minerals. That is the first importance of transpiration. Number two, cool the plant. For cooling the plant, it cools the plant for cooling the what the plant that is the important number two number three is for photosynthesis why boss pano buddha water vapor you know buddha with oxygen and that oxygen tag we tore out how we for the process of what for the process of respiration then you got a chance of respiration to draw size is carbon dioxide carbon dioxide you absorb on my plants you got the photosynthesis pano buddha water vapor your buddha ne oxygen so on our next lesson I hope I'm going to talk about the process of respiration and also to teach you about how respiration and photosynthesis, these two processes depend on each other. How the process of respiration and also the process of photosynthesis depend on each other. These are the three importance of respiration. Uh, uh, transporting uh, water and minerals, number two. 
cooling the plant. Number three, for photosynthesis. These are the importance of photosynthesis. Here are the questions for you. So just try these uh, questions. If you find any difficult in answering this question, I hope uh, you can f uh, conduct me on this number so that I can assist you. 0 uh, four six four just conduct me on this number right thank you so much